This is a conversation about how you approach economic policy and industrial policy. And what they do, what China did, and this is one of the reasons why it is now the world's, it just out, utterly dominates the whole battery, battery manufacturing, battery supply chains, DV manufacturing, all of the supply chain. It is disrupting the global auto industry. Because 15 or 20 years ago, it said, you know what? We're never going to catch and overtake the West. They're just too far advanced uh, in that. But so what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to take a, a, a strategic approach to this, and we're going to go uh, develop electric cars. And so that's what they did. But they did it very cleverly because they said, okay, on the one hand, um, we're going to put all sorts of incentives in, in for EV manufacturers. And at one point, there were like, I don't know, like 700 EV manufacturers in China. It was just crazy. And now there's still, you know, 100. Now, there might be less uh, lately because there's been some consolidation, but there was a lot. And and it was just a rat race. And, and you know, the fastest rats won. And so now we've had 12 or 15 of these companies kind of come to the fore and, and you know, they're the lead, now leading the industry. 